Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Secret Base figure preview video. Before we get started, I want to say a massive thank you to Ryan Kirkwood for going out in person to snap these awesome high-res pictures. Show Ryan some love in the comments below, because without him, this series literally would not be possible. Now, if you're looking to pre-order your very own copy of Jinx from Arcane, I've popped a link to Pop Collectibles in the description below. As always, do your own research, make sure you're comfortable before buying. I've also included the discount code Justin's Collection in the description for 5% off your order if you decide to buy from them. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe bell notification icon and join button? So you're notified as soon as a brand new Arcane figure preview video goes live on the channel. Because we all know that this is probably not going to be the last figure from the series they announce. Spending big on a license as popular as this is? Yeah, you want to get your money's worth. At least make a couple more and then call it quits on the line if they don't sell. But I'd be very surprised if they didn't. Based off the feedback so far, folks are loving what they're seeing with Jinx, and I'm one of those people. I've seen Season 1 of Arcane, but I've not yet watched Season 2, so I don't quite know what's going on with everything here. And it's also been a while since I've seen Season 1. I'm hoping Netflix gives me one of those little recap things before the start of Season 2. In terms of her hands... There's not a ton of skin texture and detail on the fingers. I'm okay with that. It's an animated show after all. But there's still a lot to look at. She's got that robotic finger for the left hand, and they've individually painted all of the blunt-looking fingernails. There's leather grain texture on the gloves, with some added brass knuckle bits for all of her left hands. In terms of weaponry, we get four weapons in total. I'm going to go off the names that I've been given, but once again, this is Jinx from Season 2, and I've not seen that yet. So the pistol is supposedly called either Zap or Zapper. This thing looks awesome. There's an actual metal spring inside that front barrel section. But this right here is the weapon I'm going to be displaying Jinx with. The rocket launcher is known as Fishbones. It's a massive beast of a thing, and it looks like a shark. How could you not display her with this? The purple and blue paint applications, they're slightly metallic, there's a flake to them. Then there's this paint sputter effect over the top, which absolutely fits the vibe, the animation style of the series. I'm slightly worried about this leaving indentations on her seamless body, but that's something we'll just have to experiment with when she actually releases. So based off the promo pics, we know that the jaw, the mouth, can open and close. What else can move on this? I want to find out. I'm so sorry. I've got more questions than I do answers when it comes to fish bones. It looks brilliant. The paint applications are sharp. There's washers in the crevices. There's copper sections, gold bits. And most importantly, it looks like something that, aesthetically speaking, Jinx would use. And have a blast while doing it. I am so sorry. Moving on to the alternative faceplate. This is the more expressive of the two head sculpt options, but I'm not mad at that. The gritted teeth look, a sinister smirk, the eyes slightly squinted with the blue paint applications, the makeup running down on one side. I might just go with this one. We'll have to wait and see. It's another one of those things where I have to get this figure in person first, then I'll decide. So we get a neutral expression and this crazy looking one. Both of them though, have moving eyes. Interestingly enough, for the more sinister expression faceplate, that one did specifically say that it's still pending licensor approval. I don't think that should raise any red flags, just something to be aware of. It might change slightly when she's actually released. The display base, not a diorama base, a simple hexagonal style stand. This right there, that foot, the way it's sitting at an angle. That has me so nervous. Yes, she's got skinny ankles. They probably couldn't have gotten away with a split-cut boot design. But at the very least, use that PVC-style softer material. 
just like what we saw with uh, She-Hulk's version of Daredevil in the red and yellow costume. So that way we get form and function. There's time to fix it, not being able to have her feet planted flat on the base with an ankle tilt in a dynamic pose is quite frankly unacceptable. So make sure you use that softer material or figure out a way to do a split cut boot design, whichever floats your boat. We've got the uh, band-aids. Sorry, my Aussiness is coming out. That's what we call a, do you call them bandages or plasters? Either way, she's got the X-shaped or x pattern band-aids on her shin there. Then the pants are for the most part full fabric. They're tattered at the bottom and the pinstripes or the line work that is screen printed on the surface. That means it could stick to itself if it's making contact with itself. It's on the pants. I don't think it's going to be a massive problem, just something to keep in mind when you're posing Jinx. I'm sort of of two minds when it comes to Jinx because they both really impressed me with the custom body, the proportions, they're very show accurate. She's skinny looking. There's some belly button definition, some subtle ab detail right there down the middle, and she's entirely seamless, including up there at the shoulders. However, they've used some pleather. Just a little, but I want none. Luckily, it's not on her outfit, the straps and the belts, even the little bits on her arm there that look like they're made of leather. That's all sculpted plastic. The only thing that I believe is made of pleather, is the strap that's going over her shoulder connected to Pow Pow, her minigun. And the padding underneath it, on top of her shoulder, that is sculpted plastic. So there's just a touch of pleather. Still too much for me, I want none of it like I just said. So this is her fourth weapon, it's a grenade known as Chomper, I believe. I could be wrong on that, I've not seen season 2 like I said at the start of the video. So correct me down in the comments. I'm sure you already have if I was incorrect. These arm straps, they look like you can move them up and down, but the buckles wouldn't be functional because they're sculpted plastic. These covers that sit underneath her gloves disguising the wrist pegs, are those fabric? If they're not, if that is sculpted plastic, that is some very convincing sculpt work hot toys well done. The wrinkling, the texture, the way they just slightly buckle at the end before they meet the glove. Perfect sculpt work if that is indeed sculpt work. Ah, that's her other pistol. So is this Zap or Zapper or is, is that the one with the spring in it? Now I'm confused. Either way, I'm going to be displaying her with the pistol with the spring inside the barrel because I just find that one more visually interesting. You could load her up with accessories. The only one I'm likely not going to use is the grenade chomper. Just doesn't excite me. Whereas having the minigun around the back like this over her shoulder, then with her holding on to fish bones and one of her pistols, that's more like it. Speaking of more like it, this head sculpt is uh, perfect. Like, I have no complaints with this sculpt. It looks exactly like Jinx from the animation in the Netflix series. And while I said this is a more neutral expression, and it is, she's just straight-faced, there's also a sadness about it, this furrowed brow look, the way the eyes have been sculpted to be more open than the other. It's a contender for me, for top animated Hot Toys head sculpt. And I know we don't have that many right now, but over the years, I reckon this one is going to hold up. Oh, and don't forget, both face plates have got moving eyes. You can move them up ever so slightly and make her look way more serious thanks to the furrowed brow look. Just check out the uh, promo pics if you don't believe me. This face plate came across a lot more pissed off looking than it does here at Secret Base. The seam for the top hairpiece is quite visible with this prototype. But don't be fooled by that, we've seen them do a lot better than this with final production pieces, super tight tolerances for seams. I don't believe it's going to be a problem at all for the final production version. Her ponytails or her braids are wired, so you will be able to adjust them. Now I know I talk about visual interest a lot, but it's super important for a figure to have presents so that they pop on the shelf. Jinx is going to do that. 
say, for example, like me, you're still uncertain about medical silicon if it's going to last in a dynamic pose, you could give her a shit ton of accessories, then have her standing straight up and down in a character pose. What the hell is a character pose? Well, it's kind of like a museum pose, but you infuse a bit more personality into it. Pop the hip, bend her elbow ever so slightly, because I assume we'll have regular elbow joints underneath those fabric coverings, because uh, why the hell not? They wouldn't be visible anyway. And then the braids come into play. Use them to make Jinx look more dynamic. Have them snaking their way around the front doing something crazy. That way the body isn't getting any stress put on it, and she still looks awesome like she does right here standing in the cabinet at secret base. They didn't do anything too outlandish with the posing, but they did what they need to to still make this piece look incredible. Now I'm going to get mine from Pop Collectibles. As always, do your own research, make sure you're comfortable before buying. I've popped a link to their site in the description, along with the discount code Justin's Collection for 5% off your order if you decide to buy from them. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe bell notification icon and join button if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.